Oh guys, these are empty bottle plastic. Hope you're well. Today I'm going to do a little tutorial how to make in a simple in a simple way a wet pallet without uh, with a low cost without spending too much money. Okay, and the correct form to to put the the sponge and the and the reaction of the paint. Okay. Now you can with a, a little box of plastic, very cheap. With a, here you have the cover. When the, you want to use, you just cover to make the the paints wet. And uh, I have a, here a little sponge. It, it was a spare from a, a little box. I am. It's going to trash. I am and uh, keep the the sponge. It's very good. And uh, you can see it's in the right size okay a very important uh, tip i'm going to give you guys is with a you have the recipient of the plastic the sponge then you need to get a little paper you have seen in other videos this is a vegetal paper for to for cooking the oven in this case it uh, has uh, individual you can see it's a wall with individual sheets of paper all the brands have in the a raw container you must get okay okay sorry all the nice then you just cut a little piece of paper okay then wh what you are well, you are going to measure but very important before put the water is to measure the paper An important tip the paper needs to be more small than the sponge not the right size then larger not larger than then neither right size it be, it's the better is going to be small with a little mass you can see we just measure by height you don't, you don't need a ruler and you are going to see why i'm telling you this now you see I put the sponge and I put the paper, the paper have a part more hard than another more smooth. I'm going to pull the smooth up, it uh, give us a little more to extend the paint is better, okay. Now you see the paper is more small than the sponge you are going to see why i'm doing that before that you can put a little sheet of paper normal paper from roll you can put in, in different shapes and you can with the, in the top of the sponge you can put the paper this is a possibility then you put the paper for cooking okay this is create more humidity it sucks the, the the water okay but you can't put directly i'm going to do two ways okay now we are going to put water and you're going to see you just turn the sponge to create very wet squeeze and put again we irritate sorry for noise Now you can see it's very wet with the water. Okay. Now you can put the paper here in the top. 
you can see it's moisture very well no problem then you are going to put the, the paper and you are going to see the reaction I'm going to approximate the camera free rest to see when I put the paper you just see it's going to absorb all the water you see it absorbs all the water you can see this is the way correct to create a very good smooth in the paint I'm going to turn up for you see the reaction you can see it's all directly absorbed directly the water okay now I'm going to put it is with the paper okay now I'm going to show you with a little of, bit of paint I'm going to put here the, the paint a little bit you can see you can see here the paint it flow very well and you just take a little bit for here and you can graduate all in different parts now you just put here another one here another one here another one you go you go into graduating the thinning of the paint just watch more I move the paint for the side more is creating like a wash you can see the difference more paint and less to the last one is creating like a wash you can see it is degradating the painting without with the only with a, a single paint you can see the varying gradations of the paint you can see the difference now the other technique I like more this is one and is correct okay just take the, the water now I'm going to show another way only with a sponge and the, only with a paper this is the, the way I like more okay I'm going to cut a little bit of paper you can see more small than sponge this is the rule I have for me and is better okay now you are going to see with this more smooth part and you just take a look the absorption only with the sponge I'm going to put the paper you are going to see the reaction you just see the reaction I'm not touching the paper is going to roll the paper but in the end is going to extend all the paper you can see I'm not touching and the, the paper is nivelating with the sponge more small than the sponge and you can see everything now I'm going to put the paint this is very wet I'm going to see it's better to work like this You can see the paint flows very well you can see now you are going to create different tones is going to thin more thin more at the last one 
always like a watch. You can see the difference for the other one. The other one is with paper behind it. is the paper for the cooking, okay? Sponge, paper towel and the, the cooking paper. And this one is only with the sponge and the, with the cooking paper. For me this is better. You can see it extends all the paper in, in a once, okay? And you can see you can work the paint is very wet no problem to work and you can see it's painting with no problem and you just need to put a little bit more paint and you keep working just additionating the paint and you are going to see the difference if you need a little bit of water you can see I just put a nibble I catch a drop of water here and you can put you wait a little bit more and create different radiations of the paint you can see I put a drop here and this continuing consistency like the other last one you can see only like a wash here this is the first one here up to the last one for me this is more humidity in the paint with the paper you can have humidity too but the paper is going to catch some of water and is going to evaporate more fast okay this is my tip this is my way to work okay okay guys thank you for watching if you like the tip make some comments subscribe to the channel thumbs up see you next video bye guys all the best thank you for watching and Peter me off.